As you are editing and creating geometry, you inevitably run into situations where lines need to be broken and or joined. That's what we're going to focus on today. But before we get started, let's make sure that Polar, Entity Snap, Snap Tracking, and Dynamic Input are all turned on. Moving back to the drawing, we'll start with the Break command. And I need to break this circle, representing the door swing, by default, the first location that you select will be the first breakpoint. So you'll notice that as I select that location of the circle, that becomes the initial breakpoint, and the second point is used to define the second point of the break. Here we're going to just draw a circle at three units. Let me move that a little bit away from the wall here. And again, using the break command, this time, I'm going to select the circle, but then choose the option to specify the first breakpoint, and then the second breakpoint. So this gives you the flexibility of breaking the object at specific locations as opposed to where you selected it. Continuing to use the break command here, we need to break this line at the break symbol. So repeating the break command, selecting the line, and then again choosing the first breakpoint option, and then same as first point, causes the line to break at the same point as the first point selected. Here we're going to delete some of these windows, and we've got a situation where these lines need to be cleaned up. As I select these lines, you'll notice that there's quite a few entities representing these what well, should only be three lines. And so we're going to use the join command to clean this up. The first thing that we're going to do is just delete some of these and create a gap here. You'll notice as I select these line segments here and press enter, five lines were joined into a single line. Returning to the join command, now we'll select these two separate lines and you can see how they are joined into one. And then finally, we'll select the various line segments using the join command. And now all five entities have been joined into one polyline. Moving over to the top, we'll repeat the join command. This time, select the arc and choose the close option, which will convert the arc to a circle. This completes the lesson on breaking and joining entities in BricsCAD.